All right, just as promised, here you are, Sublime Text. And in this lesson, I'll be showing you how to set up plugins specifically with Sublime. We'll talk about the package manager within Sublime and we'll install a couple plugins just to get hang of how to do this. I'll be using Yosemite, but this can work also with Linux and Windows. Again, the panels might, look, might not look the same, but it's overall the same process. So let's go over to my Mac and we'll get this set up. All right, here I am on my Mac, and what I want to do is uh, I want to pull up Sublime Text here, and this opens up Sublime here. And there's a couple things that you want to do here. Um, you want to get to know the package control and how to install packages within Sublime and how to uh, change the settings within Sublime to reflect any special um, settings that you might want to have. For example, if you want to enable Vim mode, you'll be able to do that here. You'll be, if you want to uh, disable Vim mode, you can also do that here as well. So let's first start off with the package control. I'm at jaceacademy.com uh, and I'm under Sublime and the links that I'm interested in here, they're also posted below this video, is package control. And package control will take you here into uh, this installation guide. And as you can see, Sublime Text 3 and Sublime Text 2 have two different uh, installation process. So depending on which of the versions you have, you would either go with this one or you go with Sublime Text 2. In this example, I'm going to do Sublime Text 2 because that's the version that I installed. I'm going to go ahead and copy this code. And what this code is going to do is going to create a folder for you um, where it's going to install the package control dependencies. And this will be done over an HTTP connection and it will be validated with SHA-256. So let's go over to Sublime here. Let me pull up Sublime Text here. This guy over here so we can actually see Sublime. And what you want to do is you want to, on your keyboard, you want to either do Control um, tilde or you can go over to View and then View Console. Should be here, Show Console. There we go. And you want to go ahead and take, paste in that code and click Enter on your keyboard. So it says, uh, it's, Please restart Sublime Text to finish the installation. So I'm going to go here, Sublime Text, quit Sublime Text, open up Sublime Text one more time, and there you go. Now you have it installed. You might be saying, well, nothing happened. If you do Command Shift P, you have package control. And as you can see, we got an error here. It's missing a dependency. Oh, restarted. Let's restart it one more time. Sublime Text. And there we go. Now it's working correctly as it should. So that's that's all there is to uh, package control. Again, package control just gives you the ability to install community plugins into Sublime. And some of the, my favorite plugins that I like to install, if you want to install one, you just do install, install package. And my favorite, some of my favorite ones are Git, which gives you a Git control in Sublime. And Command Shift P again, install package. And I also like to install Emmet, which gives you some nice handy commands for Sublime Text. And you can read more about the Emmet plugin here. We'll go ahead and close this, put up a new window. Command Shift P one more time, install package. And I'm going to be installing vintage mode. Actually, can't install vintage mode. Vintage mode is part of Sublime. So if you go into Sublime preferences, Default. You, if you go all the way down to this file, you'll see that ignore packages is vintage. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this line, go back into here, Sublime Preferences, User, and as you can see, we're ignoring um, vintage mode. So I actually want to go ahead and take, remove that, and then close Sublime, open up Sublime one more time, and we should have vintage mode enabled. As you can see, I do have vintage mode now working here. Pretty cool. I don't want to save that. And lastly, uh, if you want to install a theme, you can just do that same thing by using the package manager. So Command Shift P, install package. And a nice one that I like to use is Centrion UI theme. This one right here. And that goes ahead and installs the theme for you. Now, if you want to go ahead and, and configure the theme to be used as a default theme, you would do this by editing the user preference file. Again, depending on what you want to modify here, you want to probably just go ahead and copy this, even though right here it says don't use all this at once. We're going to go ahead and just copy this, go to File, 
sublime preferences we'll go back to user we're going to do a comma here after that array and what you want to do here is you want to select uh, the centurion color that you would like to use i'm going to go with blue and we don't need that comma at the end and depending on what theme you want to use um centurion light or centurion just the regular one so i'm going to go with the regular one because i think i believe that is the dark one so if you just click save and this goes ahead and, and apply some of the changes, not all of them. Now, in order for you to uh, actually accept all the changes here, you're, you're going to actually have to quit Sublime, open up Sublime Text one more time. And as you can see, now we have all the theme changes that we were looking for. So again, that's all there is to uh, setting up themes with Sublime and setting up plugins as well.